Hey, what's up YouTube and TikTok? So this little programming trick is how to correlate and use Usain Bolt to help you understand recursion. So first, um, can we're going to start out with the Fibonacci function here. It's going to print out the Fibonacci sequence. So the two parameters are going to be previous and current. And then return if previous is greater than 100. And then we're going to print out previous. And this is where the magic happens. So for recursion, in this particular case, we're not going to be adding the previous as the first function parameter. We're going to be using current. That's going to be the first parameter. This right here is the baton uh, passing from Usain Bolt. Um, and then the second parameter <coughs> is going to be current plus previous. So this going to end and then we can print this out fib 0 and 1 and it will show the Fibonacci sequence 0 1 1 2 3 5 8 right and this is where you saying bolt comes into play so this is the second parameter in the recursive function that's inside of this function right well this gets passed on the next iteration to the second parameter up here except we're using, we're passing Usain Bolt's baton to the first parameter. It's the US Just like this. Right here come the anchors. It will be Usain Bolt against Ryan Bailey. And here's Bolt and Bailey side by side through the home straightaway. And Bolt edges ahead. Bolt pulling away across the line, Jamaica. Boom. So the second parameter gets passed as a baton to this parameter and this parameter gets passed to the first parameter. It's a baton pass. It's a relay. So hopefully that helps and thanks for watching.